Hey guys, I'm so glad you're here. My name is Arlene Ponce. Today I'm going to tell you a little bit about Bitcoin. You can read more about what I think Bitcoin is going to do for our society and how it's going to impact our world on my blog. Here's that link. But here I'm going to talk to you about some practical applications for Bitcoin. So this specific video is actually just about some very basic Bitcoin terms and where Bitcoins are generated. So let's start with those common terms. First, let's define the actual term Bitcoin. Bitcoin is a digital currency. It is encrypted, which regulates its production and helps to verify transfers. Bitcoin operates independently of a central bank, which is what's really important about it. Right now, all of our transactions, anything financial, goes through some kind of central bank, and we generally have to pay fees. The point of Bitcoin is to really just deregulate all that, make it person to person, business to business, uh, no middleman necessary. Next, we're going to talk about blockchain. So blockchain is something you often hear in conjunction with Bitcoin. Blockchain is really just the technology that Bitcoin is built on top of. It's basically a digital ledger. All this means is that it's possible for blockchain as a technology to be really successful, to be the future, without Bitcoin necessarily being what the future is. So it's very possible that some other currency will be developed, that some other digital currency, and take over for Bitcoin, but it will be built on blockchain. So without going into great big detail about it, um, blockchain is critical because it keeps everyone honest. So it makes it so that there's not one party that has the ability to change any records or uh, make any transaction changes or anything like that. And that's where things get really cool because you don't need a third party like a bank to regulate these things. They're regulated by the technology. Finally, let's talk about cryptocurrency. So cryptocurrency is a type of digital currency. Bitcoin is one example of what a cryptocurrency would be. Uh, in the same way that maybe the US dollar is an example of currency now. The biggest difference between cryptocurrency and any other form of digital currency is really just that it uses cryptography for secure transactions. Okay, so now we've got these basic definitions down about Bitcoin. And the one thing left to answer for this piece is where do Bitcoins come from? Because in the real world, we know that governments print money and at least in theory, at some point they were backed the dollar bills that we print or the, any bills that we print in the world were backed by gold. That might not be the case anymore, but there's still somebody who's out there deciding how much money to print. In the Bitcoin world, this is called mining Bitcoin, and it's a pretty competitive process. Basically, a bunch of people are looking to solve these very difficult math problems, and they're competing for the same one. And as soon as somebody wins, they're awarded a set of Bitcoins. So um, it's very interesting and kind of a cool process. Okay, well, thank you so much for joining me to learn a little bit about Bitcoin. If you're still intrigued, follow me to my next video. I'm going to talk about uh, some good reasons to buy Bitcoin because it's a really cool new thing and I think I can talk you into it. See you over there.